In this episode of Dynamic Tech Tips, we're going to talk about the challenges of high-speed box filling. My name is Paul Harvitz, and today I'm here with Marshall Evans. Marshall is one of our mechanical designers and control engineers. And Marshall, today I would like you to explain uh, what exactly is high-speed box filling and what are some of those challenges and obstacles that you have to overcome for the system in order to build these boxes in a high-speed manner? Okay, so first off, we'll define the high-speed box filling as being multiple parts a second. You could have three, four parts a second and the parts never stop coming. So we need to be able to fill up multiple locations because Within, uh, within a second, you won't be able to swap out a box with a new empty one and not miss the next part in line. So how, we would jump to the next how box. Do the, how do the parts get off of the conveyor and into the box? Okay, so each what we have here is four positions that are filling, and each position has a photo eye that's counting the parts. Then we have a pneumatic air nozzle that's shooting the part off into a chute, which directs it down into the box. Um, we will program a target, uh, target count, and that's done with recipes. So you can have multiple part names, you can have your different target counts. Say you have a bigger box or a littler box. Um, that's, that's the user's preference. And uh, once it reaches the target count, a light will illuminate on the front, letting you know that the box is full, and it will switch over to the next box that's available. So if it's this position, then it would go here. If not, we go down to the next position, and so on. In addition uh, to that, I think you, or I know you built in some uh, control alarms. Just explain a couple of those and, and how it helps the operator. Yeah. So when we get low on boxes, uh, we'll send out an alarm that's just a warning alarm. It's an amber light, and there's an intermittent buzzer that you can set how often you want that to go off. But that's to uh, let the user know if they're not around and they need to get a new box in place that it's going to be needed pretty soon. Now if they don't if they don't replace the box with an empty one and we fill up every position, now you're in a red light condition and you'll have an alarm going constantly. So that, that's just some of the uh, alarms that are built in. Thank you Marshall and thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and share this video. If you have any specific questions concerning this type of box filling, please contact us directly at Dynamic Conveyor Corporation. Thank you.